you know, coming off obviously another big win last night, just, you know, the, the momentum that this team's carrying into senior weekend um, and just as postseason play kind of gets closer and closer, where do you feel like the confidence is for this team and um, the excitement going into being able to send these seniors off the right way, um, you know, I guess honor-wise um, this weekend? Yeah, um, I mean, confidence comes from what you've been doing. That's the one thing about um, our sport is we play a lot of games, so <laughs> there's a uh, some consistency showing up right now and what we're capable of doing. Um, the cool thing is it's different people at different times. So that's kind of nice is, um, you know, I think um, JJ had a great day yesterday, swinging the bat, you know, Mac um, getting us uh, two times through a lineup, which was really good. So like, you know, we're just relying on the team instead of just one or two people. And so that's probably been um, a bit of fun, but also the confidence is uh, at any point, someone can step up and get it done for us. You guys have taken care of business on the road in the ACC yeah. this year to now have the chance to close out, win a regular season title at home. Yeah. Um, I have to imagine it feels good, but the opportunity that you guys have this weekend. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, playing at home is um, always something nice because you're just so comfortable in your stadium and how that feels and comfortable with your fans and just your routine in general. So um, that's nice. But, you know, we've been pretty comfortable on the road too. And I think that's a testament to the team and how well they get along. and. Um, I think also how much our fans and our family travels with us, so that gives us the comforts also. So, um, in a good position. But Louisville's a good team; um, they swing it. You know, Roby's having a good year, so um, it's not going to be easy this weekend. But it hasn't been easy every weekend, so it's not something that I think there's an expectation. It's just more of like go out and execute what we've been doing the whole time, and um, so I think that's been a little bit more of the mindset. And of course, yesterday was a a fun game because it was back and forth and a lot of highs and. Um, you know, I think that those emotions uh, is what you play for this time of year, and that's a postseason team that you're playing against. So, um, you know, Louisville's going to be no different. They're going to be um, good swingers at the top of the lineup, put pressure on the bottom, um, a lot of good pitching to, to mix in there. So it'll be a lot of fun for us this weekend. Coach, um, did you guys have your full complement, your full roster yesterday? Uh, no, Josie was out um, just take care of her a little bit. We had uh, another player stay here because of a final, so yeah, not the full. Do you think you'll have them back for the weekend? Day to day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see. So talking about the team, I know you guys have so much talent that you, you know, as a coach, you don't want to think this way, but we yeah. know you're going to win games. Um, you have a lot of talent on the team. And, uh, and we've talked about before about a lot of what you do is to try to get ready for the postseason mm -hmm. as far as getting players in positions where they're kind of uncomfortable and yeah. getting them experience, that sort of thing. Where do you feel you are on that now as we get closer to the postseason? Do you think yeah. you kind of – done that with most of the players you need to do that with? Oh, definitely. I think that um, there's a fight mentality for sure. And, you know, I think Kenny started games, relieved games, closed games. I think Kat's done the same thing, so that's comfortable. We've had different people in different parts of the lineup. I mean, JJ's in the bottom, and now she's in the two-hole and, you know, getting after what she does. Um, you know, I think, again, like, you know, from BK coming, starting, to closing down defense on the backside, to getting some swings. Like, there's just been a lot of different people in a lot of different moments, and they're just doing what they do. So I, I definitely think we're in that position right now. Sure. And Coach, how, we, you know, you just said in your answer that you've been moving people in the lineup. Is it important or how important is it as you go to the postseason to have a more set lineup and a more like, batting order and also position the line? Um, I mean, I think there's a comfort zone on the field to like know who's playing next to you. But then again, if you keep rolling that in and out, then, you know, it's 22 people that are comfortable with each other. So, um, you know, I think that lineup wise um you know we're in a good position if we're facing a good lefty or a righty or a right ball or a drop ball like we have certain matchups that we can uh, offer there but you know i think our top five there has been pretty good we've maybe shuffled the bottom um but again you know it's just one pitch mindset and i, I think that's where they're at I mean, we saw it last night so that's definitely where they're at and so uh, i think they're okay with anything we throw at them right now which you know again is a postseason feel you got to be ready for whatever so yeah i think we're in a good spot Coach, you touched on you know part of that postseason feel, but being able to continue to stack games like last night that have yep. that postseason feel, that have a lot of that OKC feel. Um, you, know, you guys have been in so many of them throughout this season. Yep. Um, what does that do for a team that obviously has those aspirations to make that trip and to be able to stack those games to get more and more of experience yeah. in games like that? I mean, last night's like a double whammy because it's postseason, but it's your rival also. So. You know, it was a really good environment last night, and that environment used to be pretty hostile for us, and now it's just a celebration of really two good teams getting after it. So, um, so it's a different feel, which to me, again, is when people get into postseason, you want to see those good games. 
Um, so, you know, it was a double whammy for us on that side of it. Um, yeah, I, you know, I mean, we do talk about postseason a lot, but again, like you get to this point, you're just playing softball. So nothing really changes, you know, when it starts to be not the regular season and it's the postseason. It's still just softball games, and that's how we have to keep it. It's just that same mindset. It's just, we're just playing another softball game. So, yeah. Coach, senior weekend, obviously, yeah. this is a class that means a lot. Just but what has it meant to you to coach these girls? Yeah, um, I mean, it's sometimes different when you get transfers. Um, transfers, um, I think Mac, um, Josie, Ali Dubois, um, BK, they have something experience wise from another school where Kat is like born and raised here, Kai's born and raised <laughs> here, right? So it's like, a, I think, a different perspective. So um, sometimes you find. Um, maybe the passion and love for those players that are coming from another program, you know, you kind of reinvigorate that a little bit. Um, I think that's been a little bit of Josie and, um, you know, Mac was a little bit more of a challenge for her, you know, can I challenge to be at another level? Can I be out of state? You know, her dad passing away and challenging her growth in her life. Um, you know, Kat super proud, you know, she is just, um, she was here with Mackenzie Herzog, Herzog left and then Kat took over the reins and she's now just speaking on behalf of how many other pitchers have given her information to give that to this pitching staff. So she's like um, just super proud of what she's done, but I am gratefully and I'm going to miss her tons, tons because we've worked a ton together on, on building her game. And so, um, you know, Kaya, the unsung hero there, like born and raised in the program too, came in, you know, as not really knowing what she's going to get out of life. And, you know, she has been huge for us in the bullpen. So you may not see her all the time out here, but we are not as good as we are if we don't have someone in there that gives it to us every day, you know, as, as a catcher for us. So. Um, you know, BK, we had camps before. She decided to go to USF and then, you know, gets a chance because of COVID to transfer in. So, like, everyone's just different. It just definitely tugs at your heart, um, you know, for their person, their, their personal growth. You know, I think we get really excited about that part of it. But then you look to how much they contribute on the field to us, too. So, um, you know, we're not the pros here, so they're going to move on. And then what they give to the others will start to translate to on the field. And I think of all the alumni that come back and even Jesse Warren and JB there last night, you know, and they're so proud to see the team get after it. And, um, you know, it's really cool because it's like a family and we talk about that all the time, but it truly is. So, yeah, so tears will be shed for sure. Um, you know, I can't get the, the mama out of me on that side of it when it comes to Saturday and celebrating them. Um, but also just really proud of what they've done for us. And, you know, like that's, we just try to make sure that when we put the jersey on as the years go on, that we represent them consistently. Speaking specifically on Kat, you know, um, she mentioned when she got here, she um, she mentioned that earlier this year she called um, Megan King and said, yeah. I understand what you went through my, yeah. my freshman year of, like, yeah. you know, trying to, what, so, you know, good growth, what kind of maturity have you seen from her and growth from her, you know? Oh, uh, Kat's growth. Um, she's grown as just an athlete in general, like she's for the weight room and, and her routines have been outstanding. She's grown in her pitching skill sets. Um, every year she goes back and wants to add something different. She wants to be better every year and getting better. That's her and her dad sitting in their pitching lab and getting after that. Um, she's a book nerd. So like she really likes to be by herself and, and do, um, you know, read and hang out all day. But yet now she's figured out how to really be a voice on this team and lead and speak up and, and get uncomfortable in those moments that just was not her nature in the beginning. And um, she's uber competitive um, to the point where she's had to figure out how to ride that line of uh, be a professional on the field. She's the utmost professional right now. And I just, um, really proud for all those growth areas for her so on and off the field even you know her parents like they can see the growth and I think sometimes as a coach that's the coolest thing when the parents come back and they just say you know thanks for everything you've done for them because they've grown as women and that, I think that's so cool when mom and dad are saying those things to you and, and that's definitely cats cats ride here has been awesome